What up, Freediver fans? Jonathan and Eric here, and today we are going to cover the components of a spear gun so you know what you're looking at. What is this thing? Spear gun. Ah, I know about these. <laughs> It's a great example of a gun to show you all the different parts of a spear gun because everything is easily visible. So starting out, we obviously have the complete spear gun. The biggest component on this gun is going to be the stock. So on this particular gun, this is a rear handle so that the stock doesn't extend all that much past the handle uh, with an open muzzle and an open track. Now what that means is our next part that we're going to talk about, the shaft actually sits on top of the gun, kind of sits down in a little bit of a notch down here. A which groove, is, if you will. A groove, yeah, which is called the track. Um, and then there's nothing keeping the shaft in the front of the muzzle as well. So if this piece of line wasn't holding the shaft on, which I'll talk about that in a second, the shaft would flop out of the gun. Um, so that would be considered an open muzzle, open track gun. Um, and that's how this stock is oriented. Now the next major piece in here is the shaft. So the shaft sits in the stock in that groove. There are some guns that have an enclosed track. Um, we'll show you an example of that in a little bit. But on this particular one, the shaft is sitting on there. This shaft has shark fin tabs, and we're going to show you on the next gun the other type of tab, which is a notch, which is actually cut into the shaft. Um, the next thing from the shaft is your shooting line. So this is a 300 pound monofilament, it's black monofilament. It's crimped onto the shaft at the tab runs through the muzzle, and again on this open muzzle, that line wraps over the top and holds the shaft in place. This is a double wrap, which means that the line is coming down around another component down here, which is the line release. It's coming around the line release twice, and then attaches up in the front with a little muzzle bungee. That's gonna help dampen your shot if you shoot all the way out to the end of your shooting line. And if you do shoot a fish, it's gonna give it a little bit of cushion to kind of pull against. Um, so. Getting back down to the bottom here, the shaft itself notches into what's called the trigger mechanism. So this whole silver piece that's sticking out of the top of the gun right here is the trigger mechanism. Rife has a really unique setup. They've got a little um, dampener built into this guy. So that's what this little black dot is on the top. It's kind of cool, it quiets down your shot. Um, this particular gun is a Euro gun. So, what that is, is there's two main different types of mechanisms. One of them is the Euro mechanism, which uses a round notch. The other style is a USA mechanism, uses a square notch. And it's important not to get those two shafts mixed up because it either won't work or it could cause your gun to misfire. Um, so as part of this trigger mechanism, you have a couple extra parts going on here. On this gun, we have a safety. So this little silver paddle on the side, when it's pointing forward, the safety is off. When it's back, prevents the gun from firing. On the side, we were pointing out this line release earlier. This is a spring-loaded mechanism that when you pull the trigger, or when, rather when you're not pulling the trigger, the line cannot pull off of this line release. So it actually holds the line in place so that when you're swimming around, your line is contained, it's not going anywhere, but when you pull the trigger, it allows the line to pop off. So when you pull the trigger, it removes the block from there, you can see how that line release comes forward. Now everything is contained back here by both the stock and the handle. Like I said, this is a rear handle gun, so your handle's all the way in the back, but that's pretty standard for most Euro style spear guns. Um, now on this particular gun, we have a nice big rubber butt pad in the back that's gonna make it more comfortable for loading. Get a little more surface area to push against. And the next main component is what makes everything move. These are 16 mil or 5 8 bands. Um, so these are gonna be the motor for the shaft. These are what's pushing everything forward and essentially putting your fish on the boat. So as Eric was talking about with that closed muzzle, that's that guy that wraps around the top of the shaft at the front of the gun, uh, which also holds onto your bands. And then as you move down the shaft, we had seen the uh, shark tabs or the shark fin tabs on the shaft itself. Whereas this gun, the Rob Allen, has those notches. Uh, and the only difference there is that the, the wishbones of the band 
actually set in the notch versus on top. Um, different schools of thought there, but the sleeker the shaft, potentially the more accurate and the less drag in the water. So some guys really like the uh, notch shafts, other guys really like the shark fins. The shark fins are a little bit easier to load just because it's a nice big um, hook to grab the, uh, the actual wishbone itself. Notches can usually be a little bit of a weak point as well. Yeah, you're cutting into a shaft, right? Very similar to the rife, you've got your muzzle, your bands, shaft, the barrel itself, the mechanism, which is this guy on top here, which includes your trigger, your line release, and your safety, right? So all the same components that we just talked about to include our line wrap and our muzzle bungee. So like Eric said, there's a ton of, ton of guns out there that all have pretty much the same components. They might look a little bit different, maybe different, different materials, but the idea of this video is to get you guys kind of aware of what a spear gun has and kind of how it works. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope that this was educational for you guys who are maybe just getting into the sport or want to learn more about the sport. Um, you can always give us a call uh, here at the shop. Uh, we have a ton of people who are very educated in the world of spear fishing and spear guns, hence Eric <laughs> as my, uh, my right hand man. Um, but yeah, there's tons of people here that are really excited to teach you what you need to know to get you out there and shooting fish. So we're very excited to have these videos go out there. Um, Eric, any thoughts? Yeah, hopefully you learned something from the different parts of these spear guns and you can use that on either your own spear gun or to make an informed purchase in the future. There you go. See you guys next time. See ya. Thanks for watching our videos, guys. Uh, we always love giving you guys good content and educating you guys more on the products that we use. Uh, if you have more questions or comments of things that you wanna learn more about and videos that you wanna see, then uh, leave a comment in our discussion board on our channel. But for the next time in between there, check out these videos right here and we'll see you guys in the next video.